In this video, I'm gonna show you how I pack my camera bag when I travel. Yep, we're doing a what's in my camera bag. But first, we're in Raleigh, so here's some trendy coffee shop B-roll for you. Right before we left for this trip, my lovely wife sat down with me and helped me. So this is really a shout out to her because I could not wrap my head around how to, to configure this bag. And she sat down and helped me organize, weed out what I didn't need to bring. And yeah, so these are the results. This is what I wanna share with you. Okay, so right off the bat, I just wanna show you what it looks like fully packed because there's some things missing in here. So shot this on my iPhone, you'll notice that there's the Nikon camera and its lens, and then the Rode Wireless Go microphones packed in there. And so Nikon, lens, that's what those are for. And this is the company camera. It's Canon 80D with the kit lens. It's like, what is that? 18 to 135. And then this is a 10 to 18 wide angle. Up here, got the peak design slide strap, I think. And get underneath that, got the drone controller, DJI Mavic Air in there. And here, got some panel lights. This is a <laughs> bright Mamma Jamma. It's uh, pretty bright. Put that in there for various talking heads. This is another little LED light, little panel light. Um, it's dead though, gotta charge it. Lots of things to charge. This is the DJI Ronin SC2. This also belongs to the company I work for. Put that aside here. And that is it for that compartment. This organizer pouch, which this is just so satisfying. The, it's like playing the shapes game. Like the fact that that just like, it's just so enjoyable. This is where I decided to put all of my stuff for the drone battery related. So I've got extra batteries, got the uh, very old school Michael James Media logo, can't, you can't see it. Put those stickers on things that belong to me <laughs> so that I don't mix them up. All right, hmm, nice. All right, the only thing left on this particular pack is the front pouch. Um, this is where the mini SSD hard drive lives. It's where XQD card reader lives. Um, if you did not know, a CF Express card and an XQD card are different, even though they look freaking identical, you will need a card reader for both. I recommend this one. Click on the affiliate link in the, I'm just kidding, I don't have that. Lens cloth, uh, completely necessary. Little USB cable for the hard drive. Another little USB C cable for other things. AirPods Pro. This, I love this little pocket. It's small. Um, little chariot pin, long live. And, of course, down inside here, you know, which you cannot see unless I boost that, there you go, is the uh, little RFID pouch where my wallet lives. And it is the SpyGen wallet that just magnetizes to the back of the phone. Pretty minimalistic, doesn't take up a lot of space. And when I'm on the road, 
most places have Apple Pay. And so that just kind of lives in my bag. And the reason it lives in my bag and not on the back of my phone is because I constantly have to take it off to fly the drone and or use the Ronin SC with the Raven Eye. So in order to not lose it, it just lives right in there until somebody says, can I see your ID? Okay, guys, this is what a hotel room should be like. I mean, it probably just looks like a typical hotel room, but let's just dive into a couple things. For one thing, this, this working station has power outlets and power outlets. power outlet. Here, let's just turn that on. That's nice. And then bedside table, more power outlets. It's so nice, but I think probably the best thing Oh my gosh, going to sleep so great tonight. This week, my job has me in kind of the middle of the state. We spent a couple days in Raleigh, so I, I wanted to hit up a coffee shop or two. Um, it's been a long week, guys, so I only went to one coffee shop. Um, it was still well worth the trip. I, I was very pleased. And if you're ever in Raleigh, you should check this place out. It's called Iris Coffee Lab. I would definitely go there again. I'm always pretty skeptical when I see iced coffee on a menu because I used to work for the Mermaid Company and the, the iced coffee is just, I'm trying to think of the best way I could put it, um, garbage. It's disgusting. It's not good. And if you're sitting here watching this, you're going, I love iced coffee from that place. Love it. Do you drink it black? I don't, I didn't think so. Yeah, it's bad, it's not good. And, uh, but yeah, so when I get to Iris, their board said iced coffee. I was like, it can't be as bad as that place. So I ordered it and it turns out it's their cold brew. Mm, what a good surprise. So good, so delicious, so great. So many great things, so good. All the good things to say, a lot of good things. So this is our last night of our trip this week, and we're at a hotel in Lumberton. Places you'll go if you just dream big enough. But I have to say, this is the best hotel room I've stayed in so far in all of our travels. Let's show you some of the, let's show you some of the delightful parts of it. If you haven't subscribed already, please do that. It helps, uh, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. It doesn't even have to be important. Just interact with me, please. Please help me grow my YouTube channel. I'm trying to do that, if you can't tell. So, 